Hey guys, and boy, do I got a story for you. Sorry guys if my hand's really, really shaky, but this happened like, like 30 minutes ago and I'm still not recovered, so <laughs> yeah, like I'm still blushing from 30 minutes ago. Like my face, I feel like it's gonna be permanently red because of this. But anyway, let's get into the story. So, you guys all know about crushes. Literally, every one of us had one. Like, they they all come from the heavens, like, from absolutely nowhere. But this one, this one, this one, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I am so shook from this. <sighs> this story happened 30 minutes ago. I'm bringing you live. Well, not really. This is not live, but... <laughs> okay, so... The beginning of our story starts... Um... Today. Not today, like, literally right now, but... It happened, like, somewhere in August. I'll probably not... Like, probably a week la later, I'll be living an actual... Hole. School is gonna be an actual hole. Monday. So, um... <sighs> This story is about uh, how my my confession for someone backfired so bad. It's like, <laughs> in the video, this is going to be our boy um, for the video. Um, so, uh, yeah, just introducing the characters. This is going to be me in the video. You know how that is. This, my friend, is going to be Lauren, which is my best friend, and also has a YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. Channel name is Lightning Under God, I'm pretty sure. I haven't checked her name in ages, and you know how that is. She changes her name, like, every single, every single, like, month, it seems like. But anyway, let's just get into the video. So, me and Lauren knew this plan like the back of our hand. We knew what was coming. We knew what we were going to do. Lauren was going to take the note to the boy. And I was going to stay there and hope that he didn't find out. Because in the note, I said mystery man instead of my name. Well, that was definitely a mistake. So, as our story begins... I hid un in a tree somewhere. I don't really remember. I, 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 it's been like 30 minutes and I still don't know, but anyway. So this is our boy. So um, Lauren gave him the note and she ran off like she was going to be, like she was going to die. So uh, she, um, told me that he, she gave him the note, and that everything was going smoothly, everything was going fine, well, that was not even, like, our worries, but, uh, anyways, so we went off to talk, like, not normally, but we hid under a tree, because we were like, let's just talk, and Lauren told me that she didn't read the note, and I was just like, oh, I told you that you could read the note, no, and she was like, oh, I forgot, and so I told her that it was a confession letter, and she was like, my ship, because she shipped us. Oh, so about like 10 minutes later, our boy showed up right to our door, and being like, um, I don't, I don't know how to, uh, uh read this. And I was about to, like, literally die of laughter. I was literally laughing. Like, I was, like, about to, like, I was about to, like, laugh my head off. Like, it was about to explode. And I was just like, boy, boy, how do you not know how to read? And later, after I laughed myself to death, I knocked my head on a tree, which was my mistake. Like, literally, the worst thing that I should have done, um, I just couldn't think anymore. I was just too busy laughing at his face. And then he looked at me and he was like, uh, did you m 
make this note. And I was just like, uh, no, what do you think? What, what do you think? It, what, what? Of course it's not me. And you bang your head on a tree. And I ran, and I ran, and, uh, I was trying to figure something out, so she ran with me. And he went back to his friends. And after that, I thought I was safe. I was safe. Like, I would ho go home free, and I wouldn't be chased by the cops, and I would be fine. But, really... Five minutes later, he told us that, can you please read this note? Like I said before, I do not know how to read. Um, so can you please read this note? And I was like, nope. And then she wanted to read it to him, but like... What the crap? It was suspicious, which was the worst thing that could happen. I thought it was the worst thing that could happen until what come, came next. And we talked, and then suddenly something came that was so unexpected, I almost had a seizure. And by the way, before I tell you the unexpected news, I have to tell you one thing. So there's a boy in my class, and, um, he took the note, and I was just like, I guess I have to murder him now, because in the, in the second page of the, of the, um, confession letter, I said, if you are not the boy's name, I put that there, um, then I'm going to have to murder you. So, um, yeah, I had to murder him now, and you guys comment down below, what should I do? Like, what should I do? What, what should I do? I didn't want to murder anyone, but I guess I have to. Either that I should get revenge, but I don't think this is very mature of me. This whole entire video is not very mature of me, but let's just get on to the seizure part of the video. Are we still here? Just to suffer? Every night, I can feel my they said the word that was the worst thing that I ever heard in my life. You like my guy right here, this guy right here, this boy right here, right now. They caught me. Okay. And a girl came up to me. She was like, here, go, dude, this is my handcuffs, which I saw this later, earlier, and, uh, yeah, so she did handcuffs. I don't know why. I don't know what would happen. Um, but anyway, this right here is the guy that I was talking about earlier that's, um, ran with the note, you know, took it. This is my boy, Big Chungus. Um, people call him at school Big Chungus, and I wanted to protect him, but after this, I don't want to protect him anymore. I could see them getting closer. I could see them getting closer. And you know what I did? I ran! I didn't look back. I ran. I ran. Ducked under the trees. I did everything to escape. <laughs> As I stopped because I was cornered. Luckily, the bell saved me in the nick of time. Now, <laughs> and then went all the way down there. Later that day, my friend told me that they yelled uh, the thing "You like my guy" um, over and over and over again, and she thought that even the teachers could hear it. They were so loud. And that's the end of the story.